Tak ada satu sport pun yang senang. All of sports are very hard. Tapi it comes the same to motherhood. Tak ada satu pun journey of a mother is easy. So I always put like, if I can handle my kids, I can handle this sport. If I can give birth, I can manage this pain. break it down to two or three session after sending my kids to school lepas hantar anak pergi sekolah saya akan ada saya punya session pagi usually pagi saya akan kayuh because my cycling team dekat Manjung dia kayuh pagi so after kayuh pagi because I'm doing duathlon so I will always go for an easy run if I feel good I'll do a tempo run the duration of the run depends on how I feel on that day and my training program on the evening usually at 3 o'clock I will do some core workout or strength workout kat rumah a simple one and then I'll do my my evening session biasanya lari dekat track or otherwise I'll do a long run on the evening. And then sometimes, bila kolam in the base buka, I'll go for swimming for recovery. The difference between when I had only one kid or two kids, because they were still little, I struggled with training. I, I need to send them to a babysitter or I need to ask someone to... We will take turn with my husband or otherwise I'll send them to my friend's house or my sister's house so that we can manage our training. But now that my kids are... The eldest is 12 years old, so uh, they understand my routine. They know that, okay, pagi mommy training, uh, petang mommy training. So And then they know that I need a rest between... After they go come back to school, dah lepas makan semua, settle all their lunch, they know I need to rest before I start my second session. So, it was difficult when they were little, but now they are on the bus and then they are very understanding, so it has become very easy. I think, as I actually ran for ultras before, and then I think in every sport disciplines lah, tak ada satu sport pun yang senang. All of sports are very hard, tapi it comes the same to motherhood. Tak ada satu pun journey of a mother is easy. So I always put like, if I can handle my kids, I can handle this sport. If I can give birth, I can manage this pain. So I always put it into my training and racing. So and the best part is that when I train, usually uh, my kids will be in the car with my husband kalau he's uh, driving them to somewhere and then they'll open the window and they'll all scream mommy go mommy and everybody will look at uh, the car beside her, everything they will look at me and I will uh, tata them or buy them and then bila races they will wait at the finishing line and they will scream mommy go mommy it always gives me a boost lah, to do better Assalamualaikum mommy. hi mommy okay mommy uh, all the best Keep fighting. What? Okay, keep fighting. Never give up. Never give up. Yeah. And always keep going. Keep always going. Always, always keep going. Do your best. 100 percent Full gas. Always go forward. Don't go back. Dana, Dana, check up. Dana, fight. Fighting. Go, mommy. Go, mommy. Check up. Check up. Mommy, fight. Fight back. Fight, fight back. back. Make us proud. Make us for all the athletes that are becoming mother, I know that motherhood is, is really challenging, especially mothers that are breastfeeding because I, I breastfeed all my kids. So I know how hard it is. I know how challenging it is. But as long as you actually work your schedule and then you put in the time to train, eventually when your kid grows up, it will become easier and easier and easier. But you have to believe the journey. You have to be very patient and then you just keep on going consistently and you will get where you want to be. So for all the mothers that wants to be active or wants to get in shape or wants to start sports or wants to start a hobby, I think the first thing is that usually when you become a mother, you don't know how to do it or you will be quite alone because I, I know how it feels. So for me is that you need to start it yourself and then find some friends and then you need to arrange. You know, it's your schedule, it's your time. You know, okay, if I can put 30 minutes here, then I can have extra here. You need to know how to manage all of your schedules and then the most important thing things that you can rajin. Like, memang you will be malas, nobody will be motivated every day, but you have to like, okay, I want to do this, I will do this. Consistently, every day, then you will get a hang of it, then you'll be like very happy doing it. And the most important part is that you have to be stress-free. Kalau you nak run, happy running means that don't put any pressure in yourself. If you want to cycle, then go like right happy. Jangan letak pressure like, oh, aku nak buat ni, I need to be this excellent, this excellent, this excellent. No, you just do it first, and then from that, you improve, 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 and then you set target. 
I've been winning ultras in Vietnam, in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Brunei. I've been doing adventure racing. I've been doing a lot of running, adventure racing. Mountain biking pun I dah masuk. And I've always been on podiums, but it's not recognized. Maju Sukan Negara tak recognize it because it's not a category A punya sports. So honestly, bringing Duatlon, their first medal to Malaysia, is actually something that I am really, really glad of because I want Duatlon to be upgraded. I want this sports to be seen as a category A sport and I want to achieve more. I want to go even better than SEA Games. So for my next target for SEA Games, honestly, I want gold. Honestly, I want to be the best. So I think in every sport I did before, in ultra running, in marathon, in every races, I will always want to do my best and I want to be number one. People are if I don't want to bring back gold. So next year, my target is to bring back gold. So I will start training from now. I will learn more on Duatlon. I will learn more on the strategies, plan my training program, betul-betul according to Duatlon punya game. Thank you.